Tommy, I guess unfortunately it didn't go our way at the end of the game with the playoffs, but wow, what, what a season it's been, ending how we've been all season, an entertaining game. And wow, what are your thoughts after the, the curtains come to a close? Well, <laughs> the last game of the season is really a sort of biopic of our whole season, isn't it? There was periods in the game where I thought we didn't look like we were on it, and then we were absolutely excellent for certain periods, scored two really good goals, and then you think, Right, just see this game out, but that's not the, that's not what we've done all season. And I knew it was going to be bumps in the road between us going two one up and the end of the game. But I just, I, I don't know whether it was, I didn't know what was going on elsewhere. But obviously the Dagenham fans yeah. did, and they, they they let us know. And it, it might have fed on at the pitch. I have no idea. But ultimately, we, you know, we've taken a point from the game. We've got two two trips in a week, taking four points from them. Had we done that all season, we might not have been just short. But we are, and you know. I'm really proud of the group, I'm proud of the staff, um, but pff, the fans today, again, it wowed me, to be honest with you. It, 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 it gets you right in there because we're playing away from home, last game of the season, with a possibility of success, let's say, getting to the playoffs, and they've come out in the numbers again and supported us, and you know, I honestly take my hat off to them and thank them for, on behalf of the players and the staff, because we do really appreciate their support. 752 was the official number. It's yeah. just outstanding, isn't it? And and that has driven us forward a lot this season, yeah. isn't it? And and shooting towards them at the end there, you could tell the players were desperate to score in front of them, and, and luckily we did. Yeah, well, I said at half time I thought we'd score goals because I, I just felt we were a better team than them in, in general, um, and I thought we controlled long long parts of the game. We just needed to polish up a little bit and a little bit of good play from um, to get the penalty first, and then great great play good there from Lauren to score the second and. Obviously, Josh Barrett's gone and done what we all know Josh Barrett can do. He's got that in his in his locker, no problem. Um, so, look at the end of the day, it is what it is. We are where we are. But the lads, the lads have been told in private they, we've got to prepare in case something happens between now and whenever that somebody might not be able to play in the playoffs. So we've we've done as best we can this week um, and put ourselves in a position if anything falls out, then we we jump in. In terms of Next year, obviously looking ahead to next season, we don't know what players are going to be or what aren't. One of them we know won't is Josh Stokes, and what a moment for him to get a nice Yeah, I felt it was appropriate to take him off to get his own little round of applause, to be honest, because for a 19-year-old kid, he's done, he's done wonders. He's been a huge part of what we've done in general this season in the Cup and in the league. Um, but he's not, you know, he's not the only individual that needs praising. There's a yeah. lot. There's a yeah. lot. There's lads who've turned things round in their favour. There's lads who've scored loads of goals. The goalkeeper for me has had a really good season and he's conceded 80 odd goals. <laughs> and I think to myself, well, how many have been his fault? And, and I'm being honest here, not many, mm. not many. He cost us at Eastley when he got sent off and he, he flat one at, um, at home to Eastley, I think. And I, but after that, I'm starting to have to think. So, you know, it's been a really good season. I mean, I've enjoyed it. And um, as the manager, sometimes we've been really good to watch and I've, and I've enjoyed that. And sometimes we've been really tough to watch and I've enjoyed that in a macabre sort of way because it makes me learn and it makes me better because then I know what we've got to work at. So I've really enjoyed it. Like I said, the backing from the fans and from the club has been outstanding. It's been, it makes you want to hurry up, get the summer out of the way and get yeah. back to work. As you say, anyone could have had a, an ovation, and I think mm. they were, weren't they? Yeah. Loads of players were getting single ovations out there by the fans, and I think that does say a lot, because it has been a squad yeah. effort this year. Massively. Right? Look, well, look, just look at the, the team. We made three more changes from the team that we made five changes to on Wednesday. So I, I, look, you can't win it. You can't be successful with 11 blokes. Mm. You do need players. And somebody like Kwame Thomas has been so patient this yeah. season, but he's stepped up every time he's come on the pitch. So he deserves massive credit, in my opinion. Um, and whilst his minutes wouldn't be what he he would have liked his contribution has been immense so there's a few like that the loanies <clears throat> excuse me the loanies that we've had have all played their part whether they're still here or they've gone back to their own club so yeah i think <coughs> if i was looking at the whole season on and off the pitches of the manager this football club i'd say there's a tick in the box i think we can do better